Oh my gosh. Yo, knock. Listen, I. Skulk, she's out, bro. Tony and Emma. Woof. This chemistry is just so fucking fire. So, yeah, guys, Invincible Iron Man issue 10. This whole run has been fire, but now we're getting to the X Men stuff. And Emma and Tony are getting married. The, the stuff that happens in this book is kind of crazy. So we start off in Texas, right? Where we see Rhodey since like issue seven or six that he's been like in prison and shit. So he's going around in the freaking, you know, the, I want to say playground, but like the workout area. And he's trying to talk to Tony on the phone. We see that he's talking to Tony and this is prior to when Emma was trying to kill Philon at the Hellfire Club, right? So this is prior to the last issue, like it's going the past and stuff. And Tony's talking to him and he's like, hey, I, I'm gonna get you out. We see that Living Laser and Sandman come into the fucking prison and pretty much get Rhodey and get him the fuck out of there. Some old school villain shit. And like I said, we find out that Tony, a, a weeks ago, like after Hellfire Gala, um, Tony asks Kingpin for help to get him out of there. So basically, Tony's pretty much his servant until, you know, further notice just to get Rhodey out of there because Tony does feel bad for this. And we see the scene where, you know, Emma is about to go kill Felon and Tony's like, hey, just relax, just relax. And he gets, you know, kicked, boom. And he's like, oh shit. And remember the last issue, we left off with this scene, right? And, yo, Emma's bad, bro. I can't, fuck, she's bad. But Felon sees him, so they have to, you know, kiss and shit. They have to, just so they play the character. But yeah, that's just. I, I love Tony now, man. I love him more than I ever did. Practically, he goes out to the Hellfire Club. Everyone's like, the fuck? And basically, they pretty much say, we're going to go on our honeymoon and get married and stuff in Vegas. Like, old school fucking wild shit. So Tony and Emma go out to Vegas, right? And just just look at look at Emma, bro. Like, she's so fucking bad. But yeah, they're going into the bedroom after like this ballroom shit. I thought, I think they got it on. I'm not sure, though. We see the whole reason though why they went to Vegas because Felon has like a little like, you know, warehouse out there that Tony uses the stealth suit to get out there and grabs some technology and he gives it to Deadpool to give it a cap in New York. Tony arrives at the chapel right with Emma and dude, fuck dude, this is so fucking bitchin'. And right before they, you know, kiss the bride shit at the, at the marriage, uh, you know, Emma goes inside everybody's head to get into Felon. So what's going on with him? What makes him tick? We find that Felon is actually obsessed with Tony's dad and all the technology and stuff. We actually find out uh, Felon's parents are actually mutants and he didn't get any power. So that's why he's so hatred toward the mutants. So after the, Tony was talking to like his dad, but not really, he figures out uh, the technology to use to fight the Sentinels. So Tony's like, uh, Emma, if you want to kill Felon, you can. But she's like, no, I, I actually want him to go through some more pain. So he pretty much uh, just knocks him out, basically, and makes it so he doesn't remember anything. And then they kiss, you know, and practically that is over. We find out the next Tony suit, what it's going to be made out of from the white hot room. 